Hey everybody, welcome to G'day, y'all. Chats. You and me, BP1 and BP2. We're here, we here are. today with a request for, well, how cricket was invented um, on the channel Jimmy Reese. I don't know if it's Jimmy Reese in the channel. I don't know anything about it. We just know that it was a request from Michael. Michael. Cheers, Michael. Thank you very much. Uh, Michael popped along and bought us a lovely uh, big frothy macchiato with some sprinkles. Uh, mm. We enjoyed that one very much. Um, and asked us to um, react to this. So it seems like it may be a bit of comedy. Uh, I quickly looked up. James Reese is an Australian children's entertainer best known for playing the role of Jimmy Giggle on ABC Kids' <laughs> flagship programme, Giggle and the Hoot, from 2009 to 2020. Looks like the same guy. So um, here we go. Probably going to get... Uh, Get some British uh, cricket um, ribbing, I guess. Some wow. sledging going on. The guy well, who decides see. cricket. All right. All right. Yeah, let's get into it. it. Was Kill a strip of grass in the middle of a field, Jason. What? And build a shit castle out of sticks in each end. Pardon oh. what? And then two guys have to protect the wooden stump castle. Sir. Shut up, Jason. Well, what's the stump castle called? The wickets. Okay, and what's the dead strip of grass called? The wicket. What? No, 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 sir, that's confusing. No. Shut up, Jason. <laughs> it's wicket. What are they protecting the wickets from? 11 other people trying to knock the wicket castle down by running in as fast as they can and pegging a hard ball at 140 kilometers an hour, Jason. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what do they do, just stand in front of the wicket castle and get hit by the ball? Yes, Jason, and their only defense is a piece of wood. Piece of wood, right. Should, <laughs> should they have some protection? Ah, fine, they can wear some foam armor or something. I'll add a helmet too, sir. And what do the 10 other people do while the one person is flinging the ball at 140 kilometers at the wicket castle? They Stand around in the field watching, Jason. Oh, and after each ball, they take the ball and rub it on their balls and then pass it to the next person to rub it on their balls to give it back to the guy who's going to bowl it again. Okay, so the aim is to throw the ball at the sticks and get them down. No, Jason, not throw! You said they pelted at 140 kilometres. Not throw! Well, how, how do they... How They bowl it, Jason. Oh, 140 yeah. kilometres along the ground? <laughs> what? No, Jason, they don't roll it. They bowl it. Oh, well, Australia do roll it along the ground, but only oh. when they play New Zealand. Right. Oh, 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 they got to <laughs> throw it without bending their arm, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. I like the way he's the comical way of doing it, but getting all the wording right, you know, and I like yep. the comedy around it, you know, because, and that's the same in the UK with, oh, throw, you don't throw the ball, you bowl the ball. Yeah. And it's funny when he said about roll it. Are you, are you familiar why he said they'll roll it? No. Um, Something to do with New Zealand. It was a test match long, long time ago. Uh, I can't remember when, um, but there was, I think it was, there was one ball to go and New Zealand needed, I'm not uh, sure if they needed one run or four runs, but they needed to get a run. Yeah. I think it, I think it was just one run. I think they needed to win the match or to, to, to draw it or whatever. Uh, and there's nothing in the rule book back then to say you couldn't roll the ball. Underarm. And Australia came up. And just basically rolled it along the floor straight at the batsman, and obviously the batsman, is not from from Can nothing, is not going to be able to churn out a run. And it right. was a big moment in cricket of okay. bad sport. You know, they were playing the game with the rules, so they but, won the game. But sportsmanship around it was like, yeah, that's pretty bad. And and from okay. then, Australia got a bit of a for being a bit bad sport. Bit of sledging. Um, yeah. Bit like Nick Kyriagos uh, serving underarm at tennis, that sort of thing. Something like that, man. <laughs> All right. Wonder where he got his inspiration <laughs> from. <laughs> uh, cricket's not my forte, so thanks for filling in the blank. But, you know, as you imagine, if you were trying to explain cricket to somebody that never seen it before and you sort of gave it this kind of outline, you go, what? How did anybody come up with this shizzle? Uh, yeah, it's we're quite protect funny. the castle. Yeah, exactly. Well, you said about his being, you know, known for being a children's, yep, you know, act or whatever. Giggle in the hoot. She, yeah, so maybe he's thinking like how a child would think and explain, yeah, explain yeah. it. 
Brilliant. Okay. Whilst taking the mick out of the sport as well, to be fair. Without bending the arm, that's it. Bowler. Bending the arm. Bowler. All right. Okay, that's weird. And the protector of the stump castle has the piece of wood called a bat and tries to whack it away. And then what happens? The two guys at the stump castles then swap places by running in between the things on the dead grass. Oh, and if the people standing in the field pick it up and throw it at the stumps and knock them over, then they're out. Oh, and by throw it, you mean bowl it at the stumps. <laughs> no, Jason, the people standing in the field can bend their arm. What are you, stupid? What? No, but hang on, you said- Shut up, Jason! Was that the only way that they can go out? No, Jason, the bowler guy can just get it past the batter guy and hit the castle. Oh, okay, that's simple. Oh, but Jason, if it hits the batter guy's leg, and if you use your imagination, think, ooh, if his leg wasn't there, then the ball would definitely knock down the stump castle. <laughs> then you're also out. Hang on, sorry, what? Ooh, and the fielder guy behind the stump castle has webbed hands. I don't wait, hang on, can we go? <laughs> and the bowler guy gets six balls, Jason. Six balls and then... Then it's an over. Then it's over. And over. Balls, that's it, it's over. Yeah, six balls, then over. That's it. It's over. No, Jason, and over. I don't understand. Jason, what are you, stupid? It's six balls, then that's an over, and then the other guy from the other end bowls six balls for another over. You got what it? Yeah. And if the batter guy hits it and someone catches it... They're also out. Yes, Jason, but also no, Jason. Well, how is it yes and no? Well, the tiniest bit of the bowler's foot has to be behind a line, Jason. What are you, stupid? Or else it's a no ball. He has to bowl that one again? And you get a free run, Jason. Oh, and the batting team can also score runs off the no ball. But you can't go out because it's a no ball. No! But also, yes. Wait, what? No, hang on. Jason, and make the game go for... A couple of hours? Five days. What? Five you heard days. me, Jason. Five days, and then it's over. Hey, six balls isn't over, Jason. Five days? Well, when is this played? In the middle of summer. Five days in extreme heat, righto. Oh, and they all have to wear trousers, Jason. That's a lot of running around and stuff, sir. Ah, oh, Jason. If the bander guy hits it past all the fielders, they get four runs. Oh, okay. Six runs. Four runs or six runs? So 10. Oh, Jason, if the ball touches the ground, it's a four. And if it goes on the full over the thing, then it's a six. Okay. Bye. Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> no, Jason. A bye is when the ball doesn't hit the bat, but the batters run. Right. It, uh... But if it doesn't hit the bat, but hits the leg, then it's a... A leg bye. Yes, Jason. And if it doesn't touch the bat but touches the arm, it's an arm... A leg bye. What? And if it doesn't hit the bat but hits the helmet, it's a... Leg bye. Yeah. And if it hits the hand... A leg bye. <laughs> no, Jason, it's a run. A hand is part of the bat. What are you, stupid? <sighs> it's just, you know, it really is complicated, isn't it, when you put it all together? It is. I mean, I know cricket i know roughly the rules so i know everything he's saying but it's funny how he's how it's coming across and how he's yeah. how he's saying it because it is stupid he's sort I mean, of if you wrote I that like down and gave it to somebody in it yeah because he's saying what are you what are you jason stupid but to yeah. the average but you know the game it is those rules are not yeah. rule, the rules aren't stupid but what they're called are the of, quite yeah. stupid you know it is comical yeah, I mean, as you say, if somebody'd never seen it and you gave them a list of how to play this game, here's the instructions, go and play that. You'd be going, what? what are you talking about? Yeah. Brilliant. Very, it's very funny. cleverly done, though. Very cleverly done. Yeah, Jeez. five day in the summer. It, it, I like the way he sort of poke of fun. He pokes fun yeah. at, at it as well as giving good information. It's all the information. It, it's all there, true, yeah. Fair. Five days for one game. Yes. Yeah, keep going then. Oh, and Jason, everyone has to wear white. Why white? So we can see where they've rubbed the red ball on their balls. Great reason. Jason, we should play a game that only takes one day. Phew, that's great. We could make another game that only takes a few hours, Jason. All right, now we're getting somewhere, and they have to wear white too? No, Jason, they can wear whatever colour they want. What are you, stupid? Oh, my God. Jason! Let's make all the terms used in cricket a little bit sexual. What? No, no. Ball. No ball. Crease. Full toss. A pull shot. A hook. Fine leg. Third man. A googly. Long leg. Ooh, a maiden. Ooh, what an edge. Middle stump. 
An opener. Ooh, single. Short leg. Ooh, nice swing. Reverse swing. That was a swinger. Twelfth man. Through the covers. Ooh, they've got out the heavy roller. <laughs> There's a man in the deep. There's a crack in the pitch. Ooh, that's a wide ball. You done? <laughs> a duck. What's that? If you don't score any runs and you get out, it's a duck. Why a duck? Golden duck. What is that? It's when you don't score any runs and get out on the first ball. Oh, enough about ducks. <laughs> Duckworth Lewis. What the f is that? Well, Jason, <laughs> cricket is an outdoor sport. And when it rains, it affects the duration of the game. When the game has a specific duration, they need to know if they need to reduce the amount of overs in the game because of a rain delay or perhaps there's bad light. So they use a system called the Duckworth-Lewis system, whereby they use a mathematical calculation with the resources left in the game that one side might have an advantage over the other side because they might have played half of their innings, but the other team hasn't started their innings yet and then there was a rain delay. So what they do is they use the mathematical calculation calculation to calculate how many runs they would have scored or maybe how many runs they should be reduced by because of the delay in the proceedings and thereby giving the and I'm just also go. how many overs left they had left before the rain delay right and then if you the consider <laughs> how many yeah. overs like they might get in after the rain delay then they will have to summate all of that into an equation thereby I, I very, very good. Very good. <laughs> very funny. Uh, As you say, you know, try explain. Well, I'm guessing most Americans, you know, if they've never seen it, try explaining a game of cricket to them and see how long they last before they glaze over. I used to watch a lot of cricket when I was younger right. more than I do now. I don't know why. It's a, just maybe it's a time thing or or what. But um, You haven't got five days, have you, to just sit there and watch Men in White? Wow, yeah, five. I mean, it's, run so he was mentioning like twenty twenty cricket, which is sort of yep. twenty overs. A bit better. Um, so it's a lot quicker. It's a lot of fun. You can get youngsters into the sport a lot, but you know that way. Yeah. And then introduce the, the test matches, but you used to have one day internationals. You still do, but when I was younger, you know, it used to be on the main channel, and there wasn't there was That's only a big five reason, channels. Yeah. Sport was there and cricket was on, and it yep. was on for like the five. You had days. no choice. You had no choice. But now, it's not on the mainstream. You know, it's all taken over by these other channels and stuff. So, But that was funny. That was funny yep. as well as very, very truthful. As very well. truthful, very observational. And I, you know, he delivered it in a good way. Um, anything else? I see that there were some other things popped up at the end of the, the video. So anything else from uh, Jimmy Reese that we should know about? But cheers, Michael. Thank you for that. Very funny, especially when you kind of got an understanding of what what all the terms mean and uh, you can relate to them but yeah just mind bending how they came up with cricket to be fair it's funny funny what did you Obviously think Phil? some posh people of too well, much time Bobby and Monkey's uncle this song is simply divine Bobby it's got me dancing like a proper dandy yeah he's been I think he's been on the same drink as he has to be yeah mate he's on the juice um, thanks for watching today. Uh, also, you could always head over to www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash Britpops React if you want us to do a reaction for you. Uh, you can also head over to our Patreon site. Uh, Please do. Of our Patreon.com forward slash Britpops React. Look at them we know we've got some new ones uh, out on there. So uh, thank you very much for joining if you've joined us recently. All right. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yes. Yeah, some lovely new patrons. Um, there you go, mate. Jimmy Reese, very funny, very funny indeed. So big thumbs up from us on that one. Thumbs up, bigger thumbs up over there. <laughs> Thanks so much. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from him. And that's Bye. goodbye from me. Cheers, Phil. A bye is when he's a 20th century boy.